Uh, good morning. Today, I'm going to show you how to uh, how to replace an old toilet. I'll take one out. How to put one in? Um, let's look at the victim. This is uh, this is a culprit that we're having. Um, she makes this high pitched sound. It'll die. I don't care what fixture you use throughout the house. All of a sudden, it'll start making a high pitched sound. The biggest problem is I've tried over and over. I know I replaced the whole interior gut assembly, but she leaks water constantly. Let me show you what I mean. See how the water is constantly overflowing? I've adjusted this thing, I don't know, a million times, and it's just, I, uh, probably it's me, it was all corroded, and um, I've been doing this, was doing with this for six months, so she stopped, but she's still leaking water. I can't get this float at the proper elevation to stop that. It just, something, I don't know, something ain't right, and, um, Hey, um, another reason I hate round bowls. Round bowls are not really full. It's just, they're just not comfortable. I'm going to get the same toilet as I bought in the master bath. And um, so, yeah, I'm going to run to the hardware store and go pick up a new toilet. And uh, we'll get started. But I think before I take off, the first step I'm going to do, I'm actually going to shut the water off. Just take the valve. And uh, stop the water. This looks fine. This actually doesn't look too bad. And um, so I won't need a new one of these. Looks like it's been recently replaced. And um, yeah. So um, uh, yeah. So that's set. And then. Uh, Next step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flush the toilet, get everything out of there as much as I can. There's a little bit left in there, and I'll have to take another tool. Um, hmm, do I have a plunger here? Um, stand by. Okay, I'm about to add that to the list. I do not have a plunger. Another trick is to get the water out of the P-trap in the toilet. Toilets have built-in P-traps. And as you can see, it's kind of see how it's built on the side. Water sits here in this section. And uh, then it goes up and then down. But water sits down here. So sewer gases can't back up through here. So toilets have built-in P-traps. So um new toilet and um then when i just wanted to get a uh, toilet plunger i thought i had one apparently not okay unless there's one downstairs let's um that's let me go down and see if i got one down there one down there guess what i found there's one downstairs all right so so basically what you want to do is get that excess water out of the P-trap. So you just luck went down a little so I might take this all apart great great all right you sit over here and um all right let me go into the hardware store and uh get a new toilet plunger I'm gonna get one for up here or something up here I got four bathrooms and um Maybe I'll pick up two. Put one in this bath and put one in our bath. Um, I don't know. Or maybe the back bathroom. Those are the older toilets. These uh, 
these newer toys are uh, a three, uh, what do they call it, like a three liter or three, it's the power of the, the, the flushing mechanism, they got, they sell twos, threes, and fours, they sell on the fours that you can flush down a bucket of golf balls through that toilet, um, so I went down to a three, I'm not flushing toilet about golf balls, but let's get to the lumber yard and they got a toilet. Well, I'm in my truck, get ready to go to the store, get a toilet. Here's the, um, here's what was replaced with my truck, the key cylinder. It was this mechanism right here. Yeah, take the whole steering wheel off and uh, put a whole new insert in. So, uh, yeah, but um, that's all taken care of, truck's running again. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna um, go get some, uh, go get a toilet. And uh, I'll show you the one I'm gonna pick out. All right, here we go. That's the uh, Pike's Peak up ahead. That's uh, 14,100 feet or something like that elevation. But, uh, it's good to see snow up there. And um, yeah, so. <clears throat> the beauty so, um, all right, we're almost there all right here I'm uh, gonna actually get this toilet here I'm gonna take this one they're gonna take 20 bucks off because the box is all chewed up okay works for me make sure you get an extra thick wax ring too that's a big one. Instead of doubling up, you'll never have problems with leaks. But, um, yeah, the one I'm getting is this one. It's, uh, when I was talking about the, the flush valve size, that's a three inch. I got like a two inch, three inch. The big one is the four inch. What they say is you can flush golf balls down with this. Oh, oh, bucket of balls. But, yeah, 20 bucks off that. $1.99, I'll take it. So, let's get in a cart. And, um, I got the big black train. I just gotta get, uh, a um, couple plungers. Ah, uh, so we got some plungers. And I'll have to look around for those and, um, yeah, we'll get this thing put in the truck and you know, show you how it's done. Alright, here's the new toilet. Here's all the miscellaneous parts, black string, bolts, tight down things, you know, uh, this rubber thing cushion that goes that goes in here, actually. That's so this doesn't leak. This is the actual tank. And uh, it's a three inch valve. They got two inch, three inch. This is what gives the power the pressure of flushing and this gets mounted on top and here's the lid so let's go upstairs i actually bought a better plunger let's see if we can get all that water out of there of uh, the other toilet and um yeah let's go up all right well here we are i got the toilet these are some of the tools we got different crescent wrenches pliers a scraper a phillips channel locks and uh and a blade. Um, so we're gonna take this apart and um, first things first, I know water's gonna hit the ground. Well, not a little, probably. Well, I don't know, maybe not. So we just undo this. And that's it, that's the water. Water's out of the way. We gotta loosen up those nuts. 
down here on the bottom. Cap just snaps off. So just take the crescent wrench and loosen the nut. That side. That's that side. This bathroom is going to get remodeled in the future, but that's uh, that's it with the toilet. I notice a silicone the bottom, so that's why I got a utility knife, and I am gonna. I thought that, yeah, this tile floor is cracked. This is bad. But, um, let's see if I could loosen up the caulk. And, uh, let's see if I can get this toilet loosened up. And, yeah, these are all really very fine bead. Looks like the front was their problem. Man, why am I seeing water there? Is that from the... Loose. Yeah, toilet's, toilet's loose. Um, the key is to get it in this black bag. Ooh, that stinks. Water has been a problem. Hmm. I've never seen water on the bathroom ceiling. So the hard part is to get the toilet in this plastic bag by myself. The base. And uh yeah. Let me try this. Uh, by myself. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to probably tilt up, slide the bag under. And push her in and see what happens. Okay, I got the toilet out. I got it in a bag, plastic bag. And I actually wrapped it with my uh, drop cloth. I'll just throw that in the washer once I'm done. And um, I'll bring up, I'll get this floor all cleaned up, get the old wax ring taken out. And um, yeah, get this area all set for the new toilet. But I got it double protected. I don't want any of the old water. It's not old water, it's actually fresh water. I don't want it on the floor. So I got my helper, my two wheel cart. <sighs> you get her uh, dollied out of here. So let me get that. All right, well, so I got the front end. So if, if you tilt it from the back, what's gonna happen? All the water is gonna drain out of the hole, out of the drain, because you're so what I'm doing is I'm gonna tilt it forward so the water stays in the bowl. So I couldn't get it all out. Like I said, I got plastic, I got this tarp. So I'm double wrapped and um, like I said, this is my helper. It's a two little cart. One man could just tilt it up and there you go. Um, so I'm gonna get her outside and uh, get back in here. That worked out awesome. Yeah, I had to hold on to the tank to get it out. Um, that's just water from the dog bowl. But I got her out down there. And I'll come back to that later. I'm going to put new gloves on and um, get the floor prepped. Get everything ready, get everything cleaned, ready for the new bowl. This is why you replace a wax ring been flattened um, I'll probably just leave those bolts in um, I think um, I mean this tile is in bad shape like I said this bathroom is gonna get remodeled but yeah that's why I replace it if you put the other toilet right on the old wax ring guarantee you'll get a leak so I'm wearing gloves so I'm uh, keeping clean. Once I put the toilet on, I will uh, take them off and be a man. All right, the next step was get the wax ring 
and get it stuck to the bottom of the toilet, it'll stay if you apply enough pressure. So I got it on and I'm gonna get the toilet over in place. I'm leaving the old bolts there. There's nothing wrong with them. They're in good shape. So uh, um, yeah, let me get this over there. Okay, toilet's in place. Um, she's solid, she ain't going anywhere. I love those, like, I don't know, like a butterfly type wing nut. They work really good. And um, the caps just pop right over. They go right over the top. I won't put those on till later. This will go on the tank. And see how it's like cut off for the octagon? It's cut off for the, the nut that's on the bottom. Let's go get the tank. What's nice about toilets, you can put them in pieces. So one person can't do it. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little tough for me physically, but I'm getting it. I hope that hose is long enough. I will find out. Cause this will end up just sitting here like this inside and the toilet flushes and boom, water bing, that's it. Um, and they have tools for the tank. And um, yeah, so, um, tools like this, sorry about that, and um, yeah, I'm going to do the bag, get to the contents, and make sure I have all the proper stuff for the tank itself. All right, I'm going to go get the tank. And like I said, uh, the bottom of that, see how it's all the cutouts are like that, that's how that is. You just line that up with the cutout, it actually fits snug, and uh, kind of just Work it around. You want to make sure this insert of the ring is passed all the way around. Then we're going to drop her in place and use this is the hardware. This goes against the porcelain and the underside of that, and then the metal washer, and then the nut. All right, let's get this mounted. Right, I'm just tightening down the, the nuts that go underneath and uh, almost there. Uh, uh, so that egg was underneath. And they got this tool in order to do so. And then plus you'll see the rubber grommet inside start to flatten. So it's getting pulled, pulled down tight, snug. So let me just get this dialed in and keep going. Alright, next is getting a toilet lid mounted. And basically they supply you with these plastic bolts. This cap, these caps pop up, the bolt drops in, and this goes underneath. Make sure you got the contour up like that because it'll go into the hole the way it's set up. But as you start tightening, this will lock against the toilet, this flange, and you can just tighten it up with the Phillips. I'm gonna get these uh, started. And the main thing is before you get it all the way tight, make sure the bowl is forward and make sure the toilet seat is center. That looks pretty good, something like that. That looks pretty good. All right, let me get it wrapped up. All right, she's in place. You wanna over tighten these because it is just a plastic. And you just press those back down. It's a soft closed lid, and uh, that's what it means with soft close. You don't hear that slamming in the middle of the night. And the top, it's a soft close. I'm gonna go get down and grab the tank. Uh, I gotta run back to the lumber yard. The hose is too short, and I gotta get that bad boy. Uh, it just keeps leaking. I thought I had the valve off, but it's a minor leak. Maybe I'll tighten it. It's just a eighth turn but i'm gonna get the lid and uh i gotta run to the hardware store uh, i need a 16 inch that's a 12 inch it won't reach the tank this is an 88 toilet and um yeah she's looking good so i'll be back i gotta get that part well that's it like i said i had to get a 16 inch uh, hose for the tank and uh did some minor adjusting inside but uh that's it she is done she is uh Ready for operation. Everything works great. I'll do one last flush. And that's that, baby. So, that's how you install a toilet. 
pretty simple. Just follow the steps and uh, you'll have a successful um, setup. So, uh, and then note A, um, um, appreciate it if you subscribe, if you like what you've been seeing. Um, I'm gonna, uh, doggies out. And I will, um, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. God bless.